Hello there! Ready to learn about punctuating adjective clauses? Let's get started. First, it's important to understand that there are two kinds of adjective clauses. The first kind of clause identifies or defines the noun. This kind of clause is sometimes called restrictive, essential, or identifying. The clause is necessary to identify the noun that it modifies. The other kind of clause provides extra information about something that is already identified. This kind of clause is sometimes called non-restrictive, non-essential, or non-identifying. Think about this sentence. I went to the White House. Can you picture it? Now, think about this sentence. I went to the White House where my grandmother lives. Did your image change? Now, listen to this sentence. My grandmother lives in a white house that is surrounded by a white fence and large trees. Each time I added an adjective clause, your image of the white house changed, right? The adjective clauses identified the house. Now, think about this sentence. The President of the United States lives in the White House. Does your image of the house change if I say, The President of the United States lives in the White House, which is located in Washington, D.C. Did you picture the same image in both of these sentences? I didn't identify the White House. If you've ever visited or seen a picture of the White House, you're probably thinking of an image like this, right? We don't use any commas or punctuation for identifying clauses. I went to the White House where my grandmother lives. I didn't pause between the noun and the adjective clause. We separate the other kind of clause, the kind that simply provides additional information, with commas. In speech, you can hear a comma as a brief pause. Listen. I went to the White House where the President of the United States lives. Did you hear the pause? Start paying close attention to adjective clauses when you read or when you hear people speak. Look for the commas and listen for the pauses.